In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a profile card using Vue.js and Tailwind. Now, if you haven't seen my getting started with Vue.js or my getting started with Tailwind video, the links will be down below in the description. I suggest you check them out because I'll give you a bit of context. Unless you already know your way around Vue.js and Tailwind, then that is great. So today we're going to be building this card here. As you can see, we have this cool little background image, a little profile image. Um, we have we have a name, we have a subheading, and then we have some st statistics at the bottom here. So we are going to be building this card. Now, currently I am zoomed in, just so you know. So it, it is zoomed in for your convenience. Um, and, and that's why it looks so big. And there you go. This is what we're going to be building today. So a reusable component ca uh, profile card. And yeah, let's just get started. All right, guys, so I have an empty folder here where we are going to set up our um, project. So first things first, I'm going to use feet to set this up. So I'm going to press control and apostrophe to toggle the terminal here. So it's going to open a new terminal instance. And I'm going to say npm create feet at latest dot. Now, if you don't recognize this command, that means you haven't watched my last video on how to create a few JS project. Um, I'll again, I'll leave the links down below, but that is there, and this will show you how you can use these. Come on, now I'm just going to hit enter, and I'm going to go down to Vue.js, and I'm going to hit JavaScript, and then what I want to do is actually install Tailwind. So I've currently just set up the project, but I want to install Tailwind. Now to install Tailwind, we're going to use this command: it's npm install Tailwind CSS at Tailwind CSS feet. Now, this command I didn't use in my Tailwind tool because we use the CLI, but it's similar premise. We're just going to hit install to install this. And then inside of our feet config, we want to run a import. And we also want to then call in the plugins. We want to say Tailwind CSS like that. Now, inside of our source, we want to go to our style CSS, delete everything and do at import tailwind css just like that now that is just going to import all the tailwind styling we need um, into our project uh, and that's all we need to do to set up tailwind and uh few js now the next task is to actually get this running so i'm going to say npm run dev and this is going to create us a development site ready to go so once that's low before that's loaded i'm going to come in here and i'm going to delete a few different things so we've got our app here now I'm going to delete everything within here and just write an empty diff with hello world just for the time being. And we're going to delete this hello world component import. We're going to delete the style because we're going to be using Tailwind. We can also get rid of these. Um, and I'm going to zoom in maybe one more here just to make it easier for you guys to read. And I'm going to delete the hello world component and also the assets because we do not need them. Now we do need some images. So you will need your own background image or a profile card. Now, just to mention, you can actually get the source code with everything completed um, on my Patreon. It helps support the channel and you can also get access to uh, the source code as well for previous videos. Um, I will drop the links down below so you can get your hands on that with my images and my photos I'm gonna be using in this video. Now I'm just gonna drag in two images here so you can see we have this background image which is just a nice clean background image. You can use any background image you want. Uh, and we're gonna be have using a profile image which is just this here. I literally just took this. Uh, so we it's all set up ready for us to go. Um, and there we go. So we are all set up ready to build our project. Now if we open up the terminal again, I'm gonna press Alt and click this link. And this should open up a hello world instance. So there we go. So you can see here we've got this all set up and ready to go. It's just a very basic looking app. And I'm going to slap this to the side, bring this to one side. I'm going to close the sidebar. Or in fact, I'm going to close the terminal. And in the sidebar, I'm going to create a new component called profilecard.viewjs. And we're just going to add a template in here again with a diff. And this is just going to say profile. Card. Now, I'm not going to do anything else to this. I just want to add that in there so it's ready to go and we can open it up at the top here. Now, I can close this sidebar and I think this should be ready to go. Now, I'm going to shrink this just a little bit to give us more space on the left. Now, inside of our app.view, I want to just set up a, de a default background style and also set the elements to go to the center. Uh, but before we do that, let's just import our profile card from dot slash components slash profile card uh, and this is just going to import this and we can just call uh, profile card just like that and this is going to add it in here 
And there you go. You can see it says profile color. Now let's just do some default styling here. So on our fit, on our diff, I'm going to do a class and I'm going to call this flex item center justify center and do that. But you can currently see there's no IntelliSense happening. And that's because uh, with the new version of Tailwind, it doesn't no longer have a tailwind.config.js file. But if you just add the tailwind.config.js file, do a, uh, a couple of slashes, just say used for IntelliSense, save, it will now allow us to hover over these and you can see it tells us what they do as well. Again, if you haven't seen my Tailwind tutorial as well, that is all, all that information is in there, including the extension I use, which is the Tailwind it's CSS IntelliSense as well. Uh, all of this, again, is in that video. Links are down below. Anyway, so now we've done that, let's give um, a gap of eight because when we add multiple profile cards, we just want to have some spacing. Now you can style, if you're using this on a page, you can style this however you want. This is just for the convenience of our screen. Now I'm going to say min screen um, and we're just going to want to say uh, background gradient um, and I'm going to say two bottom right and I'm going to say from green 500 to sky 400 hit save and we're going to get this nice thing now we can we could probably change this to purple if we wanted to or change this uh maybe even go 600 here uh and or we can even go back to just a blue uh you can change these pushes whatever you want it's just this is just me showing you you can do what you want but I, I i like the sky 400 with this it gives it a nice lighter feel uh, and that's that's all we need to do in this app.few file for now everything else is going to be done in our component file card now we need to set up some props because we're going to need some to be able to customize these cards and we want to set up some define props and that's not set fine. Also, we need to actually have a script with the setup or, uh, attribute on it as well. And then we're going to define our props. Now in here, we're going to pass an array and we're going to pass in all the different um, props we want. So we want a profile image. We want a background image. Uh, we would also like a name, a subheading. Um, uh, what else do we need? We need uh, the follower count. So we're going to say followers um, and following. So we want to know how many people you are following. Again, this information can be pulled from an API and passed through. Uh, this is just us adding in some nice little elements here. And there we go. We've got these different things. Uh, so let's start off with just styling up our background. So we're just going to come in and say background white. Uh, and we're just going to add a shadow to this of LG just to give it that subtle shadow and a rounded 2XL with a min width of 320 pixels. Uh, this is just going to give us some width to our card. I'm going to add overflow hidden. This is just going to stop, um, obviously, everything, it's going to make sure everything has the rounded corners as well, basically. Uh, and then we're going to hit text center just to bring everything to center. And here you go. You can see this is now our card here. Uh, if it's... There you go, that's set up. <laughs> but now we want to start actually bringing in different elements. So I'm going to create a diff here, and this is going to be, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to name this, and we're going to say this is our um, image header slash profile picture block. Um, and we want to give this a class. Now we're going to set this to relative, because we're going to have an absolute element in here. And we're going to give it a min height of 100, oh, 128 pixels. Um, and we're going to background cover, background center, because we want this all to be set. So now you can see we've got this default set up here. Um, and that's all for this class. However, we do want to add in our background as a, um, a style attribute. So I'm going to style, but I'm going to pass it in as, a, um, as an actual variable. Um, we're going to bind to this, and we're going to say background image is equal to URL, and then we're going to just add in our background prop. Uh, save this. And no one's going to happen because we currently don't actually pass through a background prop. But you can see up here, we'll define our props. We're using the background name and we're passing it into our style. So in our app, we want to actually add in that back. Oh, where am I going? We want to add in that background um, element. So we're going to say background. And this is literally just a simple saying background.jpg because the images are inside our public folder, which is basically the root of our web app is this is where it's going to be. We could have put this in an images folder. And if we did, we would then need to do slash images slash background. But just for the simple ease of this, we're going to leave it here. So this will be the URL for the background you want to use. 
All right, so now we have this in anyway, and we're using props. We now need the actual profile image. So to get the profile image, let's first by add in the actual profile image uh, property, and we're going to say slash profile hyphen image dot JPEG. Hit save, go back to our profile card, uh, and then we are going to add in an image attribute here or an image tag here. Uh, and let's just break these down. Uh, just to make it a bit more readable because Tailwind isn't the most readable uh, framework for CSS, but it is definitely probably, in my opinion, the best. Uh, anyway, we're going to do profile image, uh, and that's going to come from our profile image prop up here. And then in here, we can just say profile image like that as the alt tag as well. And then we're going to give this some class. Now, I'm going to break this down because there's quite a few classes we want to add on this. Um, and we should be seeing our profile image, but for some reason we are not. And the reason for that is unknown. Let's have a look. So slash profile. Oh, it's Im mid. Oh, image. Oh, God, there I am. I'm very large. Uh, I spelled the, the name wrong. Anyway, in the class, we just want to set this to inline block. Technically, not necessarily, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, and I'm going to set the width to 32 and the height to 32. There we go. Now we're a smaller person. Uh, now next I'm going to do rounded and I'm just going to say full and save. So there we go. We've got a little thing. So this is our um, our sizing block. This deals with all the sizing and the roundness and that. Now we're going to do our um, styling. So now I'm going to do object center. Now you're not going to see anything happen here because we have a square image. However, if you have an image that's off shape or the image isn't perfectly center, we're going to make sure it is centered by doing object center and also object cover so it will cover the entire element. Uh, and this will make sure we don't have any issues if you use different size images. It's not necessarily for the image I've chosen, but I thought I'd throw this in here because your image may not be like mine. And we want to give this a border 6 with a border white. And there you go, see, we've got a nice thick border to go with our image here. Now, under this, we want to set this to absolute. I'm going to set this to top full and left half. So say if you're going to see we disappear, because we're currently sat probably about here. Now let's just add in another diff down here. Um, and we're going to give this the class of PX6. And we're going to say padding top 20. Let's scroll down here. It's being very annoying. Uh, and then padding bottom 6 as well. Hit save. And there you go. You can see we're down there. Um, and this is going to be where we have our name in that. But we needed to do this just to set it up. So you can just see him there. Now let's bring ourselves back into frame. So I'm going to create a new line, and this is where our transforms are going to be. So we're going to have a transform, and we're going to say translate minus half, oh sorry, x minus half, and we can say translate, uh, if I can spell, that is, translate y minus half. Now we can actually fit this into one by just doing minus translate half, uh, just to say for some energy there. I just want to show you, you could do it with two different ways, but we can also do it with just the simple minus translate half. This is going to bring us back to the center of the element. And there you go. You see our profile image is set up. Now, with the reason we're going padding 20 down here is this is to give it space. So our image uh, has space down here to actually sit further down. So now we have this. We've got our padding all set up for our next box. We can actually start styling our um, heading classes basically our name so we're going to have a h2 now this might not be the right one for this but i'm just going to put tile pots in there as you can see this is sat in the right position that's thanks to this padding 20 so this is going to add 16 which will put us right underneath our image with its border but then by doing 20 this gives us an extra 16 pixels of space which is roughly what we want here now on our class here we can actually change this from tile pots to our name element uh, which we have up here but that's going to be nothing because we haven't sell it on our profile card so let's give us a name and our name is going to be tyler potts now you can do whatever you want here i'm just going to use my own name and while we're down here let's also just do our subheading as well uh, and this is just going to be developer 27 uh in the uk there we go that just adds everything people need to know there this could be whatever you want again it's just more just to show you that you can add this stuff to it um, and now we're just going to use a class on here uh, and we're going to set to font bold. I want text gray 800 to make it nice and dark. 
uh, with a text of 2L and a margin bottom of 2 because we want to push down our subheading just a little. Let's just break this down so it looks a bit neater. Uh, and now let's do a H3, and this is obviously going to be our subheading, uh, which is down there. But let's give it some styling. We'll give it a class, um, and the class is going to be text, or not text, text gray 600, because we want it to be quite light and hard. Not hard to see, but it's it's less important than our name. And there you go. That's that's down there with a the text large there. Now, underneath this, we want our stats. Now, to get our stats, we want, actually want a line going across the top here. Um, but we want a padding 6 first, so it has some spacing. We then want to add a border top and a border grey uh, 200, maybe, I think. And we're going to set our items to flex center, justify center. And then we're going to give them a gap of 6. So there you go. You can see there's a really faint grey line there. I, I think faint is good. It's just subtle. It doesn't add too much. It doesn't take too much away. Now in here, we're going to have a diff. And in this diff, we're going to have a H4. This is going to be our followers element. Um, and underneath this, we're going to have a paragraph tag with our number, which we can pass through as followers. So if we go back to our profile cards, we can now add our followers. And we're going to say 28,000. Uh, actually, what's my YouTube camera? I think it's 58,000. So we're going to do that. We're then going to say following, and we're going to say we're following 512 people. You never want to be following that many people. And then we're just going to have another one, say projects, just so we have another stat. And this project is going to be 10 active projects. Um, I just It's random stats. Uh, you can have this to be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be projects. It could be anything. I just want free stats so it looked a bit more even. Um, and yeah, so we're going to actually, before we copy this, let's actually add the styling to this. We want to set this to class of text gray 600 uh, and text SM because we want it to be quite small. I then want to set this to font bold text gray 800 and text 2XL. And there you go. You see we get this nice bold element here. Let's just break this down again just so this, it, it looks nice. neat, not night. Uh, and let's just paste this twice. Now this is going to change to follow wing. Um, and this will be our following. There you go. We see we've got those. And then finally, this is going to be our projects. You can have images. You can have whatever you want. It's just our extra stat. Uh, and this is going to be projects. And there you go. You can see our profile card is now complete. It's looking good. We've got a nice little card here. Um, and what we're going to do is just to prove it's uh, eligible for multiple different things. Let's just open. Let's zoom out actually to back to 100%. Uh, we're going to copy our profile card. And we're going to paste it a couple of times. And then we're just going to give it, I can't really change the image because I only have one image. But we're going to say this is uh, Dave Batista, uh, just because he's a uh, wrestler. Um, or an actor, I guess now. I think he's 50, so we're just going to say 50. Uh, and we're just going to say he lives in the USA. And there we go. We've got the wrestler, Batista. He has uh, probably a few millions. So we're going to say 2.4 million. Um we're then going to add in his following. He's going to be following two people because he's that cool. Uh, and he's going to have three projects because, you know, he's an actor, uh, what's a wrestler. Let's change this to actor, actually. He's an actor now, isn't he? There we go. Actor 50 USA. There we go. No, we can, you can do whatever you want here. And now this one is going to be called Jeff. Um, and he's just going to have Jeff. He doesn't want anything else in his name. And he's just going to say, hi. That's, that's all his profile is going to be. He's chose this. He has 10 followers. So he is living the dream. And he is following uh, 1.2 thousand people. And he has 100 projects on the go. Jeff is a maniac. Um, yeah, there you go. Just showing you this. Uh, I don't know why. That's, that's basically how you build a profile card. Now, guys, you can get the source code for this on my Patreon. It helps the channel out. And also, it allows me to create more videos like this. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more project style, uh, component based, or different sort of things with Tailwind, uh, Vue.js, or any other language. Just let me know what you want to see in the future down below and tell me if you enjoyed this video as well, because it will allow me to create more tailored videos for you guys. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning into this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.